Welcome to Kevin's European Garage, and today I'm going to be changing the transfer case fluid on this 2013 Porsche Cayenne. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to do a service on the transfer case, and then afterwards we're going to inspect the fluid. So I've been using this Ravenol. They changed the name on it. It used to be TC. It used to be this, but now that they changed the name to this. So uh, in my previous video that, where I talked about the transfer case fluid, uh, this is what I gave as a name. So now they call it this. So now you have to look it up with this. I'll try to remember to put a uh, uh, put something in the comments about it. I think you listened to my first video uh, about this. I started talking about how I changed the fluids multiple times in order to get rid of the shutter and the whining that I was getting for the transfer case. And most instances. The changing the fluid once, maybe twice, would kind of get rid of it. I needed to do it a couple times. I also kept on going until the fluid came out perfectly clear after doing a drain. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get rid of all the stuff in there. That took me four times uh, changing the stuff. And the stuff's about forty bucks a quart. Uh, sorry, a liter. And uh, this transfer case uses uh, 0 0.7 of a liter. So now we're gonna uh, drain the transfer case and then we're going to uh, inspect the fluid and then uh, put this new fluid inside there. So to drain the fluid, I use this uh, pan. It's a small little pan, uh, only holds a few quarts, maybe about f uh, like six quarts or something like that, but this is a perfect size for draining the fluid. And you can see I cleaned it up really nice. So when I drain the oil in here or the fluid, it's only gonna be the transfer case fluid that's in here. And then we'll be able to uh, inspect it once it's done. All right, so now we're underneath the car, and this is the transfer case, and this is the fill, and this is the drain for it. So right now we're going to drain out the fluid, and it uses an eight millimeter hex. And the fluid that's coming out of here has approximately 11,000 uh, miles on it. And it actually looks pretty clean uh, compared to what used to come out of this. So after draining the transfer case fluid, I take the drain plug. This thing's a little rusty, but it's still okay for now. I think maybe the next time I do this, I'll probably buy new plugs. But I just clean it off, look at the threads, make sure there's nothing inside the thread. You don't want to put anything up in that's going to possibly damage the threads inside the transfer case. So I just clean it off. And now it's gonna tighten up here. Okay, so now we got the drain plug in and this drain plug gets uh, torqued down to uh, 13 foot pounds. And right now I'm just going to break this one open. I'm not gonna put the food in there yet because the car is not level on the ground. And I want to make sure that I'm putting the proper amount in to 0.7 of a liter. So I'm going to take the car off the jack stands and I'll fill it up that way. Okay, so we got the fluid drained and we got it on the bench over here. This is what new fresh fluid looks like. And now it's pouring into a cup what, the, uh, what was drained from the vehicle. So this is what was drained from the vehicle. Well, so last time I drained it out when I did my flushes, it actually came out pretty clear. And uh, you can see that this is really not clear anymore. Um, but compared to what was coming out before, this is actually not that bad. Before it was, it wasn't, this is kind of like a grayish, uh, grayish tint to it. What well, came out here was completely black before. And you can kind of see, you know, if you put on your finger, you can see through it. Before the stuff that came out, there was no seeing through it. There was nothing. I mean, it was just black. This is what 11,000 miles worth of wear looks like. And it's probably accelerated just due to the fact that the transfer case did go around with a fluid uh, that was bad for a while. Then this looks like this is just kind of the wear from the uh, clutches. Um, I don't see any, any metallic -y look to it. It doesn't have a haze. So I don't think the chain is necessarily wearing or anything like that. Uh, I think this is more just the, uh, the what you get from the, the clutch discs. Now I'm going to lower the car back down to the ground. And then I am going to uh, put in the new fluid. Which... Okay, so now we're going to refill this back up. You don't have to check the, the height or anything over here. You can fill right up to the very top. And uh, luckily enough, this thing comes a nice little spout on here, which is pretty cool. It makes it nice and easy for filling it. This goes right in, and I just fill like this. 
Check to see how much I put in. All right, we're almost there. And there we are. So that thing is completely full. I just had to put my finger on it just a little bit to make sure it levels out on the inside before I let it continue to drain back out. It's pretty close enough. It's just gonna drip now for a little while. So we can put this plug back in. So you do have to be careful with this. I've heard of people over tightening this and actually cracking the case over here. So you gotta be really careful on how much you're torquing this, especially if you don't have a torque wrench. So just don't crank it down too tight. You know, make sure it's just nice and snug so it doesn't obviously leak or pop or fall out on you, but don't crank it down too tight. I don't think you wanna find out how good JB Weld is gonna hold that in. So give it a wipe just to make sure that if there's any leaks, we'll be able to see it. Thanks for watching Kevin's European Garage. And today we inspected the transfer case fluid. We saw that how the what the uh, what came out of here after 11,000 miles looked like compared to the brand new to uh, to the brand new fluid. And you can see that there's definitely some wear in there. So it's a good idea that you should change this at least every 30,000 miles. We also showed how easy it is actually to do the service on here. You really don't even have to jack up the vehicle. I had jacked it up previously to make it a little bit easier to show you me taking it out. But uh, when you fill it up, you need to make sure that the vehicle is level so that you can get the proper amount of there. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll have more coming out soon.